I want to say that when I talk about numbers of people dying, I know the drama that is going in each family for each colleagues and loved ones, first of all. And I think this case is like, I would say, the impact in families that is the same as others, even if they are older or, or, or that. First of all, for the reasons of confidentiality, I don't use to comment about one specific case. But what I want to say, because it's already in the media, and because people are going to health care, people are going to share facilities, they will think that the health care worker is at a higher risk uh, when he's giving caring. It's clear, but they protect themselves too with different things. This health worker doesn't, didn't work in, uh, I would say, hospital or long-term care facilities. You get the, the, the disease somewhere else. So it's one I want to say that to, we must remember that those regions are at risk for people who are very sick and are, uh, but, but you can get the disease elsewhere. So be careful and just listen to the recommendations we give. So because the virus is transmitting inside of healthcare settings, especially long-term care facilities, and we see the big impact on the elderly. But at the same time, you can get it at work if you don't respect distanciation and if the people are symptomatic. So it's why we are telling people, please listen to this thing. And if we do reopen things, we do that in the way to protect everybody.